Warren was based on Warren Tasian, who was their next door neighbor. Uh, they grew up, I think Warren and Pete are the same age. And um, he lived down the street from them. So they've known him since they were little kids. And when they did a rewrite on the script, they based my character on him. Physically, we're completely different. Warren's a small guy. Uh, he plays Freddy in the movie. Chris Freddy, you? As you. <laughs> Just as mere coincidence and luck would have it, a lot of the, the background that I'd made up in my own mind for Warren the character was truly what Warren the person had gone through. He had some damage from birth. And his mom said it, it wasn't until he was five that he learned to walk. He had to wear the braces and stuff. The character Warren was just sort of an unconscious amalgamation of people that I've known the course of my life. And even when I made certain choices, I wasn't really aware of where, where I was taking them from. The only thing I consciously took was I was out shopping with my wife and I saw this girl with her mom and her sister. And I see her and she turned her head, she turned her head like this, like it was on a ball pivot. Now, I'd, I, I'd seen people do that before, but I, I'm sitting there and I'm like trying not to watch. I think, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that. So that's the only thing that I like consciously took. But um, the, the character came together. We had this rehearsal uh, when I first got to Miami with Ben and Cameron and I. And I'd not met those guys yet. And we got together in this conference room with Pete and Bob. We just ran through the piggyback ride scene and the date scene. and. Um, and everybody's like, oh man, you're so good. And I still didn't feel like, I don't have it yet. I don't, I didn't feel comfortable with it. So we were, um, um, I was going over to the gym and I was walking back to my hotel from the gym and the, we were staying in Coral Gables and they didn't have street lights. So it's dark outside. So I start futzing around with different walks and I kind of made up this, this history of Warren. Why, why am I, you know, handicapped? What happened? So I figured, well, it's, it's something that happened at birth and usually cerebral palsy goes along with any kind of birth brain damage. So I started messing with this kind of CP walk and all of a sudden when I had the splayed hip, when that came together, I, it was like a light bulb. Like, oh, oh, I got it now, got it now. So we added the, added the head, added the hands, got the walk and, and then it was like a light bulb. I could turn it on, turn it off. Um, and luckily that was the night before we started filming. Have you seen my wiener? What? Have you seen my wiener? I do this on most of the movies that I do. I have my own little internal jokes that nobody's aware of. I don't tell anybody, but little things that I will do. Uh, and what I decided that I was going to do was this, was my little homage to what I consider the great retarded characters from film. Um, so, and some of them, a couple of things are still in the movie. The one that remains is the uh, and, uh, keychain at the end. I had to get a, a rabbit's foot. It was a rabbit's foot keychain. And if you notice, I'm in the background and I'm petting the rabbit. You know, it's, it's nice and soft. I like soft things. You know, that's Lenny of Mice and Men. I did a, I did a bit from uh, Gilbert Grape of Leo. I did a Rain Man gag. And I did a gag from Sling Blade. This is the one that, that I got caught on. The, uh, the scene where after I've beaten up Ben, we're trying to think with, with Marky and with Cam, how, how are you going to calm me down what do you, what, you know, when I've done this? So I, came with the, I said, well, I, obviously I eat a lot. <laughs> so, you know, food calms me. Um, so let's try, and I said, well, let's get some biscuits. And I got the props guy who put a little mustard on them. And it was completely in the background. It was nothing that was obvious. And Bobby, he noticed it. He comes up and he goes, well, where did the, uh, where these biscuits and mustard come from? I said, well, I asked props to get them. Hey, what's this, what's this sling bag bit? I said, well, it's just a little thing in the background. It's just a little thing. He goes, I, you know, that's more of a Zucker Brothers movie, not a Fairly Brothers movie kind of gag. So let's not do that. So that was the, and, and that was the only thing in the course of the whole movie that either Pete or Bobby went, nah. anything else just, you know, flew. We captured lightning in a bottle. Pete and Bobby know what's funny, and they know in their head what they want. I expected that there would be a lot more controversy about, you know, a, an, a broad, broad comedy like that with a retarded character in it. Um, and th th there was very little backlash. And I think the reason being, the reason we got away with it and the reason it worked, um, people completely believed that I was retarded, and I think the biggest success was how she related to me. She didn't treat me with kid gloves. I wasn't her retarded brother, I was her brother. 
I took a little longer to do certain things, you know, there was a recognition of that, but there was never, there was never any embarrassment, there was never any, this is my brother. And, and you definitely got a sense that she loved me as her brother. Mm -hmm.